Have you ever wondered why Shenzhen is considered the tech capital of the world? Have you looked around trying to find the answer, but only hear crickets? In this video, we will share a few facts that will explain why Shenzhen is seen as the world's tech capital. Many know Shenzhen as the Silicon Valley of China, and some even dare say it's way more important, simply because it combines software and hardware capabilities that channel the growth of economic prosperity. Major Chinese corporations like Yahweh are known internationally for producing innovative electronics. Tencent, an internet company, is another example that created QQ and WeChat. BYD, an automaker and electronic manufacturer, are all noteworthy giants. It seems like home is definitely where the heart is, and these corporations are proud to call Shenzhen their home. So, how did a place that was a village in 1979 become an international technological powerhouse? Almost 30 years ago, Shenzhen was a tiny market town with little to no value. At the time, the population had only 30,000 people. Changes only began in 1980 when Shenzhen was transformed into China's first special economic zone. The shift was an effort to draw international interest and attract investors. This was done by offering potential investors subsidies and policies that would benefit their stay. Even more so, due to the booming electronics trade, Shenzhen is definitely the richest city in China, holding the highest per capita GDP in the nation. Compared to its neighboring cities like Beijing and Shanghai, Shenzhen's average income is 50% higher. Did you know that Shenzhen is also home to the Ping An International Finance Center, recognized as the fourth tallest building in the world and the second tallest building in China? It goes without saying, Shenzhen is in a league of its own. This wealthy city is also home to the very first stock exchange in China, set up in 1990, just a year before the stock exchange in Shanghai was established. Apart from depending on foreign investments for success though, Shenzhen also had begun scouting local talent through offering entrepreneurs monetary privileges for running their business there. For this reason, many young, educated laborers have been forming alliances there, and as a result, novel jobs and career prospects emerged, birthing an economic power engine. Shenzhen is a paradise hotspot for budding entrepreneurs. When it comes to quick prototypes, Shenzhen is the place to be. Don't believe me? Take a look at what the experts have to say. Kai-Fu Li, a man who's invested in many US and Chinese startups through his VC firm and Sinovation Ventures, explains that hardworking entrepreneurs claim a week spent in working in Shenzhen is equivalent to a month in the United States. Managing director of Hacks, Duncan Turner, confirms this too. He says that in the UK, it'll take you around a month to make something which is a specialist from an engineering firm. Here, you can do it in a couple of days. Need I say more? I rest my case. It looks like Shenzhen has infinite electronic parts as well as the manufacturing talents at its disposal, giving an amazing unfair home crown advantage. That said, you have the option to choose from different types of LEDs, microchips, circuit boards, mini cameras, microphones, crystal oscillators, and sensors. You just name whatever you want and Shenzhen has got it for you, just for you. Exploring Shenzhen's mini electronics market is a lot of fun for the tech enthusiast, mainly because these products are buyable in bulk at a very low cost. You will also find that these engineering parts get converted into prototypes basically overnight. This is because Shenzhen has a working force of state-of-the-art, top-notch engineers, unlike any the world has ever seen. Startups in Shenzhen have access to thousands of factories that are capable of turning product batches from prototypes in a matter of days. Compared to its Western neighbors, Shenzhen has a greater iteration rate. This simply means innovating an idea in the city is a lot more faster. Is Shenzhen's Haikwangbi electronics market. The center has 20 different shopping malls and cover over 70 million square feet. Every building within this marketplace has thousands of little kiosks in any part you can ever think of to build brilliant hardware. When you shop around, you can find sensor suppliers, injection mold engineers, and some of the quirkiest versions of products you've never seen before like bespoke LED keyboards to Bluetooth speakers, you name it. That said, Haikwangbi is more than just a marketplace for parts and new additions of old products. It's also an educational hub. The city's education system continually targets skills and creativity. So this marketplace has birthed apprenticeship programs for aspiring young engineers to learn from the best. The local government has invested 145 million in grants to attract thousands of foreign and domestic entrepreneurs and the results have been astounding. In the first half of 2017, 
Fixed direct investments in Shenzhen's parent province of Guangdong rose 6.6% year on year to over 12.3 billion. Even though this success is the current reality, Shenzhen offers to go beyond cash injections. In 2018, the local government committed to building 10 labs, led by Nobel Prize winning scientists, to conduct massive scale research on 5G technology, medicine, nanotechnology, graphene, and photoelectricity. Shenzhen is already home to Nobel laureates like Juji Nakamura and Robert H. Grubbs. Guangdong's economic hub has even launched the Peacock Initiative, which aims to attract highly skilled professionals. This program is backed by a pledge of up to 100 million RMB for any team wanting to pursue scientific breakthroughs. Shenzhen's local government is not alone in this adventure. It works with the thriving private sector to loop in top talent. For example, take the city's gaming industry. Jeff Linden, co-founder and president of Tencent-backed mobile game publishing platform iDreamSky, explains that Shenzhen has one of the most centralized technology hubs in China. 85% of its gaming companies are located in Nanshan district, and 70% are in the same complex. The company slightly surpassed a $500 billion valuation and gained $12.5 billion in 2017 from game revenue alone. Tencent is definitely a magnet for tech professionals globally. The city is designed in such a way that caters to the influx, brought about by the market spaces, because the local government injects tens of millions of dollars. Shenzhen's maker spaces have expanded from just one in 2010 to hundreds today. Also, the city's growth is grounded on experimentation. For this reason, maker spaces have become a good place for tinkers, programmers, engineers, and young kids who enjoy taking things apart seeing how they work, and then building brand new gadgets to fill the iterative market. Others claim that the reason why Shenzhen has become the tech capital of the world is because there is an oversupply of incubator space. This ranges from co-working spaces to consultancy spaces geared towards sub-rentals with in-house 3D printers. Some even say that the key to maintaining this rising fleet of innovators and dynamic tinkers is to keep providing cheap access and open source design projects. Now, although Shenzhen is a great technology hub, one of the many complaints about doing business there are poor intellectual property rights and constant infringement. Prosecuting cases are a frequent issue and foreign trust and local IP laws is even higher. Even though this is true and many have turned away, it has also bred some of the most competitive innovations in history. Rapid iteration is important. Being in an environment where you always experiment with an idea, kill a project when it's not working, and updating your business practice all the time is key to maintaining success and leadership. In Shenzhen, rapid iteration is essentially crowdsourced. How so, you may ask? Look at it this way. As poor IP rights give way to open source designs, many engineers and tinkerers come together and create different products. In turn, this creates better iteration progressively and allows the market to claim the champion. The crux of Shenzhen's maker movements brings together local investors. These investors live and breathe open source hardware and software. Sharing data online constantly is what they do best. Now, this is how newly released inventions and integrated gadgets are built and given the exposure they need. To make matters even better, Shenzhen's Shanghai ecosystem has given rise to a generation of what Kai-Fu Lee calls gladiator entrepreneurs, each with the aim of getting their products to the market. Shenzhen is the world's tech capital for multiple reasons. It's hard to round it off to just one. The city is really an unstoppable force and stands at the center of hardware innovation. In 1980, it was declared China's first special economic zone and has grown from a powerhouse of affordable manufacturing products to a world-renowned innovation hub filled with rapidly growing entrepreneurs hungry for success. On any day, Shenzhen's open source ecosystem and really cheap tools give anyone the ability to rapidly iterate on today's top tech products and construct brand new prototypes, which simply fuels the cycle of constant innovation. Want to see more of these exciting videos? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching.